Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can stop participants in a Microsoft Teams from muting each other or removing others. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, when you are holding a Microsoft Teams meeting, you do not want your participants to mute each other or remove each other from that meeting. So in order to prevent that, let's start by scheduling our meeting. Now, as soon as you're in your calendar view, you can click on the future time slot and we're going to start scheduling our meeting. Now before you can do any of these settings you'll have to add your attendees. Now I'm going to add my different student demo accounts as the attendees. So let's go ahead and add my student accounts. There we go you can fill out all the information and then you send this to your attendees. You can now see that meeting on your calendar and the next step is to dive into the settings of this particular meeting. So let's go ahead and click on that meeting. Now once we're in that meeting, we're looking for the button at the top that says meeting options. Now as soon as you click on meeting options, it opens a new tab and this tab is going to give you these additional options. Now what you want to change is the drop down boxes at the bottom where it says who can present. Now at the moment, everyone can present and we want to change that. Now here you can either allocate specific people, your co-teachers, or you can set it so that only you can present. So I'm going to change it to only me. I'm now going to press save and these new settings have now been rolled out. So let's go and have a look at what this looks like inside that meeting. I'm going to join the meeting as a teacher account. I am going to mute myself and then I'm going to join this meeting. I'm also going to open up two student accounts and I'm going to join this exact same meeting with those student accounts. I now have three accounts joined in this meeting, one teacher account and two student accounts. And so what I'm going to do is in the teacher view, I'm going to open up the people's tab. So simply scroll down and then click on participants. Now this will show me on the right hand side who is in this meeting and this will show me who is a presenter and who is an attendee. Now attendees cannot mute and they cannot remove each other. The presenters however they can do all these things. So if I choose to remove this student I click on this and then I can remove this participant. Now let's jump into a student account and show you exactly what it looks like to the student. Here I am in my student account and my student account can also open up the participants view and you can see that I am a attendee. Now I cannot click on these three dots and remove this student. I cannot mute that student but I can pin the student. This way you can make sure that the attendees of your Microsoft Teams are not removing each other or muting each other. Now let's say that at some point during the meeting you want to make one of your attendees a co-presenter, you can still do that. So let's go back to the teacher account and now let's click on these three dots next to a attendee's name and then we can make this person a presenter. Now as soon as we change the permissions you will see that that student number two now has the additional rights of muting and removing participants. So it is very important to remember that removing or muting attendees can only be done by presenters. Now if you set everything up from the start when you're scheduling your meeting, then you will not have this problem in the future. For even more tips and tricks in Microsoft Teams, click on the playlist right here or watch another video. I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.